Hi guys, uh, it's food monster time. Today I'm just gonna do some simple hamburgers or cheeseburgers. I'm gonna do filthy cheeseburger part two. Very simple, very few ingredients, but uh, yet delicious. The meat, of course, uh, gonna do caramelized onion. Uh, the bread uh, to dressing, just very simple. Mayonnaise and ketchup. And to the cheese, today I'm gonna use Philadelphia cheese. Uh, cheddar cheese and parmesan cheese and of course I'm gonna have some spices into that as well garlic and so and what is this hmm let's see how we're gonna use that to the cheese monster burgers yeah of course beer you need beer when doing burgers good stuff good stuff okay so the onion is getting caramelized remember first a high heat then a lower heat be patient, add some cane sugar, some balsamic vinegar, whatever you want to make it a little bit more flavorful. And to the cheese, if you have seen my latest videos, uh, you know I love this mix. Mixed Philadelphia cheese, Parmesan, I just bought a little one today, or a small one, because I'm just going to do a couple of burgers. Uh, the cheddar cheese, all cheese, very flavorful, very strong. I'm going to mix it with some garlic, uh, also chop this pickled pepperonis. Today I'm going to add some chili to it as well because I want to have a little bit stronger cheese. Of course black pepper. And then I'm going to add, uh, I was hoping this was uh, tomato paste or the puree, you know the thick one. Unfortunately it was just a small can of uh, this little bit more liquid stuff. But I'm going to add that to the cheese because the tomato has the umami flavor that uh, is the fifth flavor and it also has the sweetness uh, which I really think will go hand in hand with this burger. Uh, meanwhile, we're waiting, take a sip of the beer, I just wait for the next slide. So here's the Philadelphia cheese, take the Parmesan cheese in with that, see if I manage to do this one. Down with the pickled pepperoni. Down with the tomato paste, which uh, is one thing I love living in Spain, but it's so darn difficult to find everything you want when you're cooking. Okay, down with this one. Then I'm just gonna add the chili pepper, the black pepper. I'm gonna shred down this cheddar cheese as well. Then I'm gonna add the garlic as well. Yeah, and this is how it looks so far. I'm just gonna squeeze everything together and I wanted to say, don't be afraid to try new things, to experiment a little bit. Like this tomato paste thing in the cheese, like I just came up with the idea today. I always try to marry different tastes or try to stimulate different taste buds. For instance, um, salt, sour, sweet, umami, bitter. Have a little bit of everything to stimulate as many taste buds as possible because that will send as many signals as possible to the brain and also release more happy hormones when eating. So I believe in balancing um, all different flavors, not just dominating with something. And the tomato has a very much natural sweetness and also the umami, if you don't know what it is, it's the fifth taste, uh, but probably everyone knows that today. It was a different case 10 years ago, but um, I like umami. I like very much the umami flavor. That's why I'm trying to uh, put this uh, tomato paste in the cheese today. So let's see how it becomes. I hope it becomes tasty. Okay, this is how it looks so far. And I told you before, it's gonna be a filthy cheeseburger. Uh, you really need to try to do a mix like this. It's really, really tasty. You have all the different kinds of cheese that is getting held together with the Philadelphia. And then it's flavors from the garlic, from the black pepper, and now from the tomato. It's indescribable, indescribable. Just, just try it at least for once. Uh, you're gonna love it. If you love cheese, you're gonna love this as well. And for the guys that doesn't know, uh, Catalonia today declared independency. Of course, you're gonna have some nutcase screaming their lungs out. I have a great view from my terrace, terrace by the way. You can see nutcase. Never mind, they're not about independence, I'm not about food, fair enough. Also when caramelizing the onion, if it gets too dry, I do like the other day I did with the chicken, adding some water. 
uh, like you see, it's very, very moist and I higher the temperature. So I let the water almost boil them apart. So I like the caramelized onion when it becomes almost like a puree, not really like fried onions. I just want it to be like very dark, very sweet, very mushy and very flavorful. The water helps with that because without water you tend to burn it instead and it becomes really it's still tasty but it's not the same thing as caramelized. So I add in some water uh, then and then and just, just let them be really soft. When it comes to the meat, I don't want to complicate it too much when it comes to burger meat. Um, later I'm going to show you some Swedish meatballs and then I'm going to complicate it a lot. They're really tasty. But for the burger meat I only want the meat and some flavors in it, some um, some spices that enhances the flavor, like black pepper, cumin, uh, a little bit of white pepper, salt, not not more than that. And like in all high quality food shows, I have done some preparations to save time. I took two uh, pieces of the hamburger bread and I took the cheese and I yeah, just put on some cheese on those ones and I took uh, the meat. Honestly, this is not really high quality meat. I bought it directly from the grocery shop. Uh, usually when you buy it directly from the butcher, you feel that the meat is a much better quality. You already see here it starts to crack up. So I'm not 100% sure how nice it's going to be, but I'm still sure it's going to taste good. Uh, I've added some cheese, like a small <clears throat> bakery here. I'm going to bake it in the burger and fry it. And uh, you can see I'm a master of planning because I have this much meat left and have this much cheese left. So I probably need to come up with a new idea for a cheese dish that I need to cook later today or tomorrow. Never mind. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah. I wanted to open my beer, but now I got lots of cheese on my fingers. So um, I'll do it after I wash my hands. And this is how it looks now. This is the burger with the meat inside, or sorry, with the cheese inside. I think I managed to close it up really, really well. There's some old Viking tricks that you use uh, some water to moisture your hands like this when you work with the meat. Because the water and the meat makes the meat become a little bit more like clay. And you can, how do you say, texture it more as you want. So as I said, old Viking tricks. We all had uh, water in pipes in the Viking time in Sweden, that's right. Uh, so now, yeah, I'm gonna put the bread and the cheese in the oven. Uh, not too high temperature, I want the cheese to be melted without the uh, bread becoming too dry. I'm gonna fry the burger on a medium temperature now because I want the cheese inside to melt properly before the meat gets too well done, so to speak. Uh, yeah, see how it goes. Okay, this is how the bread looks so far with the melted cheese. This is how the burger looks so far. Really good. Here's the caramelized onion. I'm gonna have some uh, ketchup and mayonnaise on these ones and I'm gonna put the bread and uh, the meat on. And I just need to cut it open. I, yeah, before I eat it, I just need to see it inside. So guys, I just needed my both hands to do that. But look at that sweet cheese. A little bit rare still inside, that's good because it's beef and that's melted cheese coming out. I'm just gonna add the last bit of um, caramelized onion on top of this one and then it's ready to be eaten. It's a caramelized onion and we just put the top on and I always like to press it down. Oh my god, if you have the munchies, this is a true monster. Hope you're having a really great weekend guys and see you later.